Good morning. Happy Monday, everybody. Thank you for waking back up with us today on Wake Up Charlotte to Go. And we have a special guest uh, with us this morning because we are talking all things Olympics and from now until February 20th when everything wraps up. But I, I did a story last weekend, if you missed it, it was all about curling at Charlotte Curling Association off of Old State Hill Road. And the man who showed me everything that I know, the reason why I might be making an Olympic appearance is right here on the call with us, president of the nonprofit, Steve McKee. Steve, how are you doing today? No, I'm, doing, I'm doing good, Ruby, but you need to give yourself some credit because there's a lot of natural talent there. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. So I saw there were some curling events today. We got some tomorrow um, and also Wednesday. Just talk to me about what you've been seeing on your end, first and foremost. What have you been excited about with curling? Okay, first off, the, the men's and women's competitions kick off. But the mixed doubles, we did okay, not great, but we've got high expectations for both the men's and women's. And they start, I think, February 8th. Uh, and locally, we've been getting a tremendous amount of uh, interest. We've got everything from uh, you know young kids to people in their 70s, 80s at the now. Uh, we've got open houses on uh, Saturday, this Saturday, and next Saturday. All of our learn to curls are sold out. It, that, it's, that amazed me. We had over 400 spots, and they're all sold out. Hey, that is good news. But honestly, even though they're sold out, there's still time for people to get involved even after February, after the Olympics are over, correct? Oh, absolutely. First off, the open houses themselves. If someone wants to see what curling's about, they can come here, they can get out, throw a rock, uh, they can take a look at the place. And candidly speaking, we've had people that show up to our open houses and they just go because they love the they love the sport. So this Saturday, next Saturday, open houses that uh, this Saturday is at 11. Next Saturday, that's when they start. But I was, uh, come on out and curling will keep going through May. And you don't let people know. You don't have to know anything about curling. You don't have to know about, you know, how it starts, how it finishes, the gear. You got them covered. Yep. We got, we got all the equipment, everything that they need. In fact, on Saturday, when they, when they, when people come here, we're doing trivia contests. We're explaining the rules. We've got demo games going on. You, you don't need to know a thing or bring a thing to enjoy curling. Listen, how awesome is it that we're watching these professional athletes, you know, on TV curl, and us charlatans, we have you know some place <laughs> do the exact same thing right here on an Olympic size sheet in the Queen City. Yep. Yep. I, you know, we were talking, you know, you have Olympic-sized swimming pools. Well, we have Olympic-sized ice here. This is the same type of surface. And those rocks you see here, the uh, the rocks that are behind here, they are the same type of rocks that they're using. The so the only thing we need is for people who want to go to the Olympics and they can cross. Okay. I think you cut out just a little bit at the end there for me. But again, folks, Charlotte Curling Association, go to the website. We have an article on our uh, website as well, wcnc.com, if you want to learn more how to get involved. It's off of Old Statesville Road, and you can still get involved. There's, there's, there's enough time, even though slots are filling, it's enough time to start a new hobby uh, this year, 2022. Steve, thank you so much for joining me this morning. I really appreciate your time. And... Hopefully, we get to see you on Wake Up Show to go another time. But for now, have a great Monday. Thank you, Ruby. Hopefully, we'll get there. Yes. <laughs>